we have been informed that fire has raised uh, some parts of the Adorna market. And we're going to get more details as we have Johnny Hughes on standby at the Adorna market to give us all the info. But good morning and welcome. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is TB3 New Day and I'm here with Etonam um, as usual. Quite shocking. Uh, we're told that the fire started around 12 a.m. And it's been very difficult to uh, bring it under control. We have, you know, the firefighters, they're trying their possible best to bring it under control. We've heard some um, reports from people who were also there as well, giving us the account of what really could have led to the fire. But when it comes to the Donna markets, and good morning, Etonam, this won't be the first time that we've had to wake up to some very sad news. In actual fact, this is only quite severe because it started at midnight. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine that it took quite a while for people to find out and get in touch with the firefighters. The Absolutely. last one that started in 2019, I think it was around January, it, was, mm -hmm. it started around January. 8 p.m. So it was very easy for the firefighters to get to, there and get try there. and bring it under control. And they mentioned that it was as a result of a faulty fridge from one of the right. stalls in the market. Right. We're yet to know what could have led to the fire, fire. because it's too early. They are it's still trying early, to bring yeah. it under control. But uh, right behind me, we have some video footage of what exactly is happening at the Odona markets at the moment. Johnny Hughes is there and he's bringing us all the details. I don't know if you can hear us, Johnny. Johnny, can you hear us? These are live visuals, by the way. And you can see clearly the smoke uh, mm -hmm. emanating from the stalls in the market. And we all cannot tell what led to, you know, the fire outbreak. But Johnny, hoping that we can hear from him so he can tell us more. Johnny, can you hear us? Hello, Johnny. Good morning. Johnny Hughes, can you hear us? All right. Okay, we are having challenges. Well, anyway. The nice. place is crowded. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that successive governments have tried, have tried to decongest this very particular area. And every year we have this happening. Sometimes mm. in a year we could have two, three uh, fire outbreaks just around that spot. And I'm not really sure what, because, I mean, people need to earn a living. Mm. You know, but is there a way we can decongest this area? Because most of them have illegal connections. Some leave their gadgets on overnight, yeah. you know. And if there's erratic power supply, it comes on and off. There's likely to be an outbreak. Absolutely. You know? so, and you know, after an assessment in 2019, some of the store owners indicated that they wanted not more. And of course, government to ensure that people do not cook in the market and sleep in the market mm. because that's why some people might have their gadgets on constantly that's why we'll have some fire and coal pots maybe left on the side and all of that and that could lead to fire outbreaks so they were hoping that something would have been done about it by now between that time and now mm -hmm. january 2019 it's been almost two years if you ask me we're mm -hmm. just about two months away from january mm -hmm. and we're having to deal with this again only god knows what could have happened if they didn't see the fire early early and like, like you said, this is a very congested area. How many stalls are being affected as a result of this fire? Mm -hmm. And it's very disturbing. It doesn't look good at all. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. It and doesn't. this is right behind you the know. GCB tower. Right. And so, well, I hear Johnny can hear mm -hmm. us now. And so let's see if he can give us some information. Johnny, good morning. Morning, Bella. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Uh, well, we were hoping to see you in the office, but this is equally important as well. What can you tell us from the Odona market? Well, Bella, I can report to you that uh, uh, the fire, which we understand, started around 12 uh, 30 a.m. It, mm. It's been on since now, uh, since that time. And what you can see down there are traders who have come and some persons uh, who have passed by who have come salvage the remains of what could be left of their their wear mm. as has gotten there at this point. Now you can clearly see um, the fire service team there mm. trying to uh, douse the fire actually mm. and they've been at it since midnight we understand. Not more is here, see some military men here as well with guns. And if you know how the particular market is, mm. which was the creation of the coupon led at the city it was a parting gift, especially to make sure that persons do not sell on the pavement to crowd it up. It shares the boundary with the Odor River. And mm -hmm. see it, the, the whole pedestrian market in your shop right now is completely, completely raised down mm -hmm. by fire. And this is close to where the two traders have to happen. It actually shares a little boundary with it. And some of the traders 
um, said they won't speak with us because they won't salvage the rest of their world that mm. has been left. And I can tell you, even from atop the bridge where I am now, the flyover, you can still a piece of the heat coming up to you. And usually you will have um, two streams of, of uh, vehicles coming in, yeah. especially uh, if you are coming from the, the bottom of the uh, initial runabout, the initial mm. runabout. You will actually find two streams, one coming towards where the VVI bus terminal is, the new bus terminal, and also uh, one going over the flyover. But as you see now, you can see a lot of cars are parked here just to try to catch a glimpse of what exactly is happening. And the road down there, where usually would have a lot of people come to, has been blocked by the fire service mm. and the police because um, it's, close, it's in close proximity to where the fire is. These persons who are here, uh, in your short as you can see them closer to the fire, have been taken away so many times, but they keep saying here, I don't know why exactly. Um, they won't talk to us anyhow, uh, of course, but they, they find that there's heavy traffic mm. building up gradually on the uh, overpass in the building up gradually. And yeah. You think that it's gone down now. So right. that, that's what I can share with you, Bella. And they, there's an eyewitness here that I'd like to speak with to, to share with me uh, what is all thoughts the been about it. He, he is the hire, uh, he's the, he's the head porter. And he worked in bed here at the Inkuma Circle. Nana, explain. What's all over here? Nabidi Aboko. The first thing. What's all the same? It's like a zangu. It's like a zangu. But I didn't know how to get here. What's all over here? Five years. Now, five years, the one who waited there was hard. What's all over here? I have a zangu. I just have to have a zangu. And let them say, it's very, very serious. I didn't know how to get here. Very thick smoke. The, uh, the famous pedestrian market that was created under the support administration. This is what has become of it. Oh. I'm sorry to say, but we'll have to reconstruct the whole thing again, mm. over and over again. Bella. Johnny, I mean, uh, from a bird's eye view, how many stalls can you tell, even though the smoke is pretty thick? How many stalls do you think could have been affected? be in my, in my short on your screen right now. Mm. Let's, let's do the count together right from the, 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 the land. And I'll pound slowly. Some of them are buried in, in the smoke as well. Mm. But I'll pound slowly. It goes all the way. See, take a look at it. Wow. Take a look at it. If I'm not exaggerating, I could be talking hundreds 
of these stocks, if I am not exaggerating, I could stock 100. And that's the fire service team there yeah. trying to, uh, you know, pour some more water onto it. Mm. And uh, it doesn't look easy at all. It looks like a place that I've been, I've been to hell and back. And you can see parts of the fire still. There, right have, there. have we recorded uh, any casualties at all? Well, that's uh, the eyewitness tells me they are not sure because um, the people who sleep in there have not been found yet. They don't know if they actually were sleeping in there at the time of the fire came or they also escaped when the, the fire, first set of fire set, firefighters came in. But what we do know is that the traders, some of the traders do sell their work in there have congregated here this morning in a bit to want to, uh, if you will, Salvage. clear some mm. of the, the residue or remainder of what to be left of their property. But it looks impossible, next to impossible, because the fire, as you can see, the fire mm. has been spraying water on this from 12.30 a.m. when they were called. Mind you that there's a fire station right under the... Uh, the bridge, the overpass. Okay. The so they, they, they came in. They were the first response team that had to come in to help fight the fire. And as we speak, the fire is still on, Bella. Well, you did mention that Nadmo is around as well. Um, is it possible that you could have spoken to any of them earlier before coming on air uh, to find out what kind of investigation they've been able to conduct in this very short period to ascertain what could have led to this? Well, I tried to speak with uh, a lot more officer. I tried to engage the Ministry of State and Police officer as well. They all declined. The fact that they told me that well, they were pulling their pipes out of their, of their uh, tankers and so they can't see so Essentially, bottom line is that nobody wants to speak at this point. And they, they, they really are focused and concentrated on trying to fix the, the fire threat. They want to make sure that this does not become a problem. Because they, 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 the threat here is that this pedestrian market is also close to uh, a taxi run mm -hmm. that's nearby. Yeah. To run trans public transport uh, uh, lorry park. Okay, so they, they want to be very careful. And also, very close by, I'll take the picture to you. Close by to this place, the only break in between is the Door River. Yeah. And right by where the SPCA is, there's the VVIP, there's the QPM Express, and the CISCO as well. Now, the, the uh, what do you call it, um, the lorry park I told you about, mm -hmm. it's right in it, where I'm trying to zoom into that, because the smoke is, is coming in. And you see, the smoke is coming right back out, because the fire service is unable at this point to get into the shop, the mm. container. So they are almost able to doubt the fire from outside at this point. A case in point is this particular container in your shop. Yeah. When I came here, the fire all over it. The fire service is trying to dust the fire. But you can tell there's smoke coming out of it still. So you can't be too sure. And I'm particularly worried about the people who are standing right close to it. I can see a nasty mother, and I'm trying to zoom in. A nasty mother close to the action. She's not coming to sell, obviously, because you can see a pouch right in front of her. Yeah. And right by that, you can see also a lot of people trying to tell that if nothing is really happening. And that's the dangerous part, because if they are not able to maintain the fire, they tell me that they could sell the back of the So they are doing everything they can uh, to, to sell the fire. This is what they can to be speaking at this point. Mm. All right. Well, thank you so much, Johnny, um, for your timely report. And, of course, uh, we're sure that we'll get some more details for you as we move along. But these are live pictures with Johnny Hughes um, in the thick of things. This was fire that was um, noticed around 12.30 a.m. at the Odona market. And you can tell that it probably has raised down a number of stalls in the market. We cannot really tell for now how many stalls because the smoke is quite thick. Uh, the Nadmo is still in there. Firefighters are in there trying to douse the fire, as you can clearly see. And a lot of traders... And, you know, people, of course, who have interest in this matter have gathered at their location. A few of them hoping they can salvage a bit of what they could salvage from their stores. I don't understand why there's a woman walking, walking you know, into you know, the market. They should be barricaded, but I don't really know whether they had enough time to do that 
Or maybe she's okay, just well, trying she's to lead them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Clearly she's supporting Maybe them there are some see. people stuck there, you know, because we're told some people sleep there. 